So welcome to lesson three of our study of optimization one. So here we take an introduction to optimization. So what is optimization? So optimization is a mathematical process through which best methods are obtained and a given set of conditions. So what is mathematical optimization anyway? So optimization comes from the same root as optimal, which means best. So when you optimize something, you are making it best. So to optimize means to maximize or minimize. Okay. So depending on what, what we want to optimize, we can maximize it or minimize. For instance, if we are optimizing profit, then we want to maximize it. If we are optimizing loss, then we want to minimize it. So let's look at mathematical optimization in the real world. So mathematical optimization is a branch of applied mathematics, which is useful in many different fields. And here are some examples. So in the manufacturing company, production, inventory, transportation, scheduling, in the engineering, accounts, control engineering, quality modeling, and a whole lot. So let's look at some vocabulary in optimization. So your basic problem, your basic optimization problem consists of what we call the objective function f of x. And it is always the output you are trying to maximize or minimize. So always, if they tell you to maximize that, optimize that, that thing is what we call the objective function. And then always that thing has some variables in them, like x1, s2, s3, and so on, or like s, y, z, and the rest. So these are the inputs, and they are things you can control. Okay, so they are abbreviated SN to refer to individuals or S to refer to them as a group. Okay, so we also call these the decision variables. You know, you can control them. Then we have a constraint, which are equations that place limits on how big or small some variables can get. So mostly we represent equality constraint. We know them with this. And for inequality constraint, we know them with this. So now, let's talk about types of optimization problems. So, some of the problems may have constraints, and some would not. Okay. So, for instance, here we are unlimited. That means we don't have any constraints. So you see we are going and going, but here we have to end here, we have to end here. So we are limited. So here we have constraints. Then there can be one variable or many of them. Okay. All right. So that's why you can have a single variable, multiple variables. Then the variables can be discrete. For example, only have integers or continuous. All right. Then so discrete continuous. Then our equations can be linear or nonlinear. So see this is linear, this is nonlinear, right? So now let's look at some of the problems that we solve using optimization. So the design of aircraft and aerospace structure for tolerating environmental resistance like decision making for maximizing industrial output, optimal production planning, scheduling of projects, shortest routing problems, and the last one, inventory problems in the industry. So you can go through the rest, okay? So the optimization we are about learning. This is some small intro about it. Okay, so we repair as we be repaired as we introduce or we start the main course in our next video. So in our next video, we'll talk about unconstrained optimization. So how to optimize single variable functions. 
So thank you very much. I'm Guido Canarino, final year students of mathematics KNUST. I'll see you in the next video.